I have a lot of videos on Peronis disease and bent penis on this channel. This is a video about penile curvature after treatment for prostate cancer. Never heard about it? Then you're not alone. According to research, almost no patients are informed about this rather common side effect. But doctors may also not be aware of that fact. I went through the scientific literature and it appears that up to 16% of the patients develop Peronis disease within three years after surgery. Welcome to Euro Channel. My name is Dr. Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. I think this topic is well worth a video given the high numbers of radical prostatectomies performed each year. This past year, I saw two patients in my office with penile curvature that had developed after prostate removal for prostate cancer. So generally, Peronis disease is a chronic inflammatory condition of the collagenous structure around the cavernous bodies. This structure is called the tunica albuginia. For more detailed information, I recommend that you watch the videos of the playlist I am going to link at the end. There are several possible reasons for this to happen after radical prostatectomy. First, it is almost inevitable not to damage erectile function during the surgical procedure. Even with a nerve sparing approach, most men will have erectile dysfunction after surgery. Luckily for many, this is only temporary. However, a lack of nighttime erections for a while is enough to cause fibrotic changes both in the cavernous bodies and the tunica albuginia. Fibrosis means that functional tissue is changed into a connective tissue, resulting in a loss of function. Another commonly acknowledged trigger of Peronis disease is trauma to the penis. This usually happens during sexual activity. But trauma may also occur because of surgery, as it involves manipulation of the penis. You know, there are big catheters involved, a suture with the bladder neck has to be made. Then there is lack of nerve sparing. I can't stress this point enough. Without nerve sparing, erections will be lost forever. Time and again, I see patients who don't know their status. It has not been discussed with them or they don't understand what it means and therefore don't remember. Statistical analysis suggests that cutting the nerves is associated with a higher risk of Peronis disease. Furthermore, Younger age and Caucasian ethnicity seem to go along with a higher risk for developing Peronis disease after surgery. Here's something I noted. I think it is a very interesting finding. But before I reveal what it is, I would like to ask you to subscribe to your channel and like this video. If you think my information is valuable to you, please give me some applause as you would do in the real world listening to me in an auditorium. In the digital world, Applause is likes and subscribes. Hate comments and dislikes come automatically. So show your appreciation. Don't just consume my content, like and subscribe. Thank you. Back to my finding. Despite penile curvature being present, I couldn't find anything wrong in my two patients I saw this year. As you may remember, the hallmark of Peronis disease is a palpable nodule that we call a plaque. It was absent in both patients. There was a publication in 2000 with similar findings. Only 69% of men with penile curvature after radical prostatectomy presented with palpable plaques. For me, the resulting question is this. Are we talking about Peronis disease in the remaining 31%? Or could Kilomi syndrome be another possible reason for penile curvature after radical prostatectomy? Kalami syndrome doesn't affect the cavernous bodies of the penis, but the corpus spongiosum. If scarring occurs here, penile curvature may likewise form. Frankly, I have no answer to this question. I am not sure anyone has. But I thought I might share this with you, because, you know, I like to take you with me to the limits of what is known in my specialty. I did a video on Kalami syndrome for more information. If you don't see it, then it hasn't been uploaded yet. In this case, I recommend my playlist on Peronis disease. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.